found a, uh, a, a, a recruiting firm right near where I was going to school, wandered in there one day expecting to ask for jobs about being a programmer, and the recruiter said to me, do you ever think about being an actuary? And I had the reaction that unfortunately too many people do. It was like, what's that? And he had a copy of part one, the part one exam, and he said, well, you take exams like this. And I looked at it, and I said, I could pass that exam. I would get paid for taking exams like this. And he said, yes, that's how he described it. In college and undergrad, I started as an engineering major um, to my junior year, actually. And I decided I wanted to get out of engineering. Things were happening in the industry. And a friend of mine had just switched over from being an engineer to an actuary. And he invited me to go to one of the actual science meetings. And I said, hey, this looks like something for me. I have a lot of math credits. Uh, I like working with people. Um, I like solving problems. So uh, I switched to actuarial science major. Um, and you know, the rest is history. My first interviews were to become a data processor in an insurance company. And as uh, I went through those interviews, it was actually the insurance company people who said, you know, you're good at math. You should really think about actuarial work. And uh, they told me a little bit about actuarial work during the, during the interview process. And I said, yeah, I could do that. And so it was really completely by accident that I found actuarial work. You work in one company, you see one way of doing things. If you're in a role that allows you to you know, see what different companies are doing, then you get the intellectual stimulation from seeing different ways of doing things and trying to synthesize the lessons you learn from seeing how things are done in different places and uh, you know, that I think helps one's professional growth. My career path I guess would uh, perhaps be best characterized as uh, taking advantage of good luck and opportunities that present themselves. I was on that trading side for several years and then uh, moved to corporate finance. As it turned out in both of those steps, both in trading and in corporate finance, the clients that I was dealing with were insurance companies. So it was only natural to finish the actuarial exams while I was a banker. I always had this healthy uh, respect for what it would take to do it. Uh, and as opportunities presented themselves and I saw application of the ideas in what I was doing, uh, it sort of seemed natural then to pick it up, as I said, in bits and pieces along the way. At my previous employer, I had uh, had, had some very good experience, very um, you know detailed uh, training with with actuarial modeling and, and working on um, you know actuarial transactions. So it was kind of natural when these transactions sort of moved from the, the reinsurance space or you know the, the insurance world into the capital markets. I had enough of a background of the you know the actuarial side of the transactions that I could uh, could you know, use that on Wall Street in a different context. I took an interesting leap and went into a company that wrote mostly reinsurance and only outside of North America. And it fit with the things that interested me because I loved foreign travel and I thought this would be a great road to free trips. Well, it turned out not to be, but it turned out to be a very interesting branch in my career because I got into reinsurance and the international end of the business when very few people were in it. I was always in a position where I decided to take a risk. I agreed to to move from, from New Jersey to Pennsylvania to start help start a new business where I was the only uh, actuary. Or I agreed to, when I was working in the corporate office and we were beginning at, at our company, to have manage care operations around the country. I agreed to go around the country and find out what we could do to improve financial results. The actuaries coming out of, of their exam training today are much more well-rounded than actuaries in the past. And so I think that their career path will be much broader because their communication skills will allow them to, to be able to interact with senior management. And I think they're being asked to, to do, to be challenged by such, such projects early on in their career, much earlier than, than those of us who came up 20 years ago were. And they're being successful in that. And so you're seeing actuaries um, go beyond uh, the glass ceiling that may have been there in the past.